This is probably the most psychotic skincare product that I have ever seen. This. <laughs> what the f is that? I'm here at Don Quixote, the incredible all Japanese product store here in Pearl City, Hawaii. I'm gonna shop for some Japanese skincare and see if I can build an entire routine. Cleanser, moisturizer, serum, sunscreen, all that. So let's go. Hello everyone and welcome to Skincare with Hiram. If you don't know who I am, my name's Hiram and I'm passionate about teaching you how to perfect your skincare routine. So make sure you subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell so you can see my videos every single week. And check out my skincare brand, Selfless by Hiram, which is available in store at Target if you want some amazing, mind-blowing skincare products. So y'all, I've talked about Korean skincare in my videos more times than is probably healthy for the average human. I love it, right? But a lot of you guys have been requesting me to review Japanese skincare, which is a category of skincare I haven't really deeply dived into. And I was like, okay, I gotta find some, you know, like Japanese retailers online, try to hunt legit Japanese skincare down until I remembered I live in Hawaii. Yeah, I just now remembered. And there's this magical store that I've gone to for the last 10 years called Don Quixote, which is this magical store with everything Japanese that you can possibly think of. And I was like, I've never checked out their beauty department. I wonder if they have skincare products. And sore. I'm taking you along with me to see if we can build an entire Japanese skincare routine that I would approve of. Let's go. Okay, you guys, I'm here in Don Quixote and already I am blown away by the selection. It is like a huge range of beauty products and I'm honestly shocked that I've never shopped for beauty here before. So I already know I'm gonna be here for a while. <laughs> so automatically I'm seeing Sika, which if you don't know what Sika is, that stands for Centella Asiatica, my favorite skincare ingredient ever. Well, besides niacinamide, I am already falling in love and look at the price point, $7. Where has this been all my life? I have my eye on the Sika gel cream. I mean, I always love a good gel cream, but specifically with Centella Asiatica, I wanna see if this one's fragrance free. You guys, this ingredient list is no joke, holy sh Yeah, get in this one. <laughs> what I also really like about Don Quixote is that they put the ingredient list in English on like a sticker on the outside of the box. So you know this skincare is like legit coming from Japan, which is music to my ears. Okay, so also from this same brand is the Sika Clay Cream Pack, which I believe is a face mask. I would hope so. If you're putting clay on your face, I would think it's a face mask, but I already like this because it's a large amount. I mean, I haven't used this one. I don't know how much you would use, but I'm guessing that this is at least like five to 20 uses at least. At least I would make it last a long time because I'm a cheap ass bitch. But this is kind of cool. I haven't tried a clay mask in a while. I just feel like most of the time they overly dry out your skin, but because this one has Centella Asiatica, also propolis, green tea. I mean, it's just exactly what I look for in a face mask. So I'm probably gonna get this. Also $8 for however many uses this is gonna be. A sheet mask could never. <laughs> I'm so happy I'm in my happy place. Oh, look. It says Burt's Bees Skincare, which is an American brand, and I don't see Burt's Bees anywhere. <laughs> you can literally find Burt's Bees at like Target and CVS, so I'm not sure why it says that, but at least it looks cute. Okay, let's keep searching. Okay, so I already like the look at this aisle because I can't read anything, which means it's gonna be good. I mean, look at this packaging, but I still wanna try because this stuff looks really cool. Oh, okay, this is really nice. They spell it out in English, so it's a little bit easier for ignorant people like me to shop. Okay, I don't know why I'm looking at this one so much. It's toner. I'm not even into toners. Oh, okay, so this is from the brand Sana. I have seen influencers talk about this one before. I haven't personally tried it, but it's like a nice, very foamy type cleanser. I think more so made for dry skin. Usually like foamy cleansers, I'm not as big about. I like gel cleansers because I feel like they cleanse a lot deeper, but you can't ignore that this one's very highly rated. Okay, I'm automatically seeing a product that I've seen all over social media that I really want to try. It's a facial cleansing brush with like like super micro fine fibers that give a really gentle cleansing experience and help to like foam up your cleanser, which I think would be really cool for like a gel type cleanser that you manually have to foam up. It's $7, which for a facial tool, actually a really good price because facial tools can be up the wazoo when it comes to price points. The only thing I'm confused about is that it said, do not add or remove products. Does that mean I can't take it? <laughs> I am confusion. You know what, I'm gonna take it anyway. The police! I have no idea what is in these, but I already want to eat them. Doesn't that look like so appetizing? Wow, you guys, I am blown away by how many options there are. I feel like I'm in an Olive Young when I was back in Korea. It's giving that, but not having to spend $2,000 to fly to Korea. I'm noticing that there's a lot of cleansing products. <laughs> 
cleansing balms. That is pretty expensive, I'm, I won't lie. Um, I think that's even more than my favorite cleansing balm, but then I met you living cleansing balm and that one's pretty bougie. Wow, you guys, they even have different types of cleansing balms depending on what skin concerns you have. So there's like aging skin, oily skin, spots, sensitive skin, fine lines. A cleansing balm isn't really gonna help with that too much because you only have it on your face for like 30 seconds, but it's still pretty cool. Okay, you guys, I do see this more affordable cleansing balm option. It's $16, definitely better than 43. Interesting one, this one has like charcoal in it to draw out impurities, um, but it's not necessarily an ingredient list that I'm like, wow, amazing. I have to buy it now. It's like, it's all right, it's not bad. I still wanna keep looking. I know they have more options here, I just gotta find them. You guys, I cannot believe I'm seeing this product. Whew. This is a duck mouthpiece that I guess you like bite down on and it kind of like makes your cheeks. I don't know. She looks very happy and she looks pretty. So I'm assuming you look something like that. It's giving when I was a kid and would put two Pringles in my mouth to look like a duck. And it's only $6. Gotta give it to them for creativity. Definitely. I'm not gonna lie, you guys. Looking at all the sheet masks that they have, especially like legit ones that look like this, it makes me very tempted to use the sheet mask because, you know, way back when I was a user of sheet masks. Nowadays, I just don't like using them because of the waste that they create with every single use. But uh, it's nice to dream. They look so beautiful but I'm gonna practice restraint. I'll stay strong. I found this product that's called horse oil lotion, which I was like, okay, unique branding, whatever. If you look at the ingredient list, it literally has horse fat in it. <laughs> that's not very vegan. <laughs> I've just never heard of horse fat in a skincare product. It's so wild. Okay, when they say that Japanese culture is seriously about toner, look at the size of this toner refill. <laughs> What? And craziest of all, it's $10. I have never wished I was a toner person more than I do right now, but I know I'm not gonna use this. Talk about a bargain. America could never. One hour later. Okay guys, so I'm having a little bit of trouble finding every product that I need to. I'm surprised because with this big of a selection, I would think I'd find things more quickly, but I think it's mostly because I don't read Japanese, so I'm gonna have to really put on my thinking cap and look through these ingredient lists to find out what type of products they are because I still need a cleanser, a serum, and a sunscreen. I have yet to see any sunscreens, which definitely means that we're gonna have to deep dive into these ingredient lists, so. Let's swim, bitch. Whoa. This is actually crazy. This product claims to have human stem cells in them, which I've used products like that before, but typically they're more expensive. And this one, I mean, it's in a luxe glass bottle. It has ferment filtrates, retinol. I might get this one because unlike just a regular hydrating toner, this one could have some really good benefits. And I don't know, I just see stem cell. I'm automatically interested. It's $9. That seems suspicious. <laughs> Every other stem cell product I've seen is like 50 a hundred, hundred fifty dollars. I'm not sure about this one. I am back and look at the shopping problem that I have. This bag is huge and it's nearly filled with shit that I bought. Even my videographer was like, oh wow, you're buying a lot. Do not judge me for my vices. It's for my business. Anyway, there are so many products here that I am so excited to use and some freaky, wild, crazy ones as well. You guys are not ready for how crazy this is gonna get. Okay, so I'm gonna be doing a nice little nighttime skincare routine. I did get the Sika clay mask, but I'm gonna be honest, you guys, my skin has been really going through it. When I woke up this morning, I was like, oh my gosh, my skin is so red. It looks really irritated. And because I'm introducing so many new products to my routine, I do want to kind of skip what I can. And I don't know if a clay mask is gonna be the best thing for my skin, but I believe it's the Cause Parade D Soothing series Sika Clay Cream Pack. And of course, one of the main reasons I love it is because it has Sika, Centella Asiatica, but I'll probably use this in the future once my skin has toned down, but I'm just gonna start with this adorable, it's so cute, the Ant Honey Sakura Cleansing Balm Clear. Look at how freaking cute it is. As you guys saw, I was having such a hard time finding an affordable cleansing balm. And I think, I, I mean, I'm guessing that in Japan, it's more popular to use like a cleansing oil than a cleansing balm. I don't know, you guys can let me know, but all the ones I found there were like very pricey, but this one was still a little pricey, but it wasn't like 40, $50. And of course I only chose it for the ingredients and not for the super cute packaging. I love that it has a little spatula in the lid. It makes it super easy because I always lose these things. Wow, it's definitely very like perfumey. Let's do a satisfying 
<laughs> Did you like my sound effects? Woo! It has a very nice light slip to it. That makes it really easy for it to like slide across the skin. I'm typically used to more like creamy, thicker ones that kind of feel like you're rubbing a rich moisturizer into your skin, but this one's, you know, very nice and oily. I don't know if I can really get past the smell though, because it's just very floral fragranced and I'm not a big fan of floral fragrances. So I don't know, I think it's a bit much. Whew, okay, I just rinsed my face. I low-key kind of wanted to get it off my face really quickly because it just smelled so strong and I didn't want it to irritate my skin. So my thoughts on this are like, I don't know, it's fine. A little bit disappointed because it was the most expensive skincare product in my bag, but you know, it wasn't terrible. I am, however, excited for the cleanser and the way I'm gonna cleanse my skin. I'm going to be going in with this one. I will be 100% honest, guys. I don't know what this is called. It's from the brand Sana. It's a face cleansing foam. Maybe that's what it's called. I'm not sure. I will insert it in the video, but this one is so popular. I've seen so many people rave about this product and it's been a while since I've used like a nice light foam cleanser. I typically stick with my gels, but I'm so excited for how I'm gonna cleanse my face because I've always wanted to try these. This is a facial cleansing brush. I've seen people use these, but I've never tried these. It's the kind with like super soft bristles. Apparently, let's see. Ooh, okay, yeah, they are very soft. Not quite as soft as I was expecting, but still very soft. So what I'm gonna do, because I'm in the mood for a deep clean, I'm just gonna Rewet my face. I'm gonna take the cleanser and put it on the brush. Ooh, very nice. Oh wow, that feels so lovely. It's so relaxing. <laughs> Although I don't know if it's absorbing the cleanser cause I don't really see much foam on my face. I don't know, maybe this brush is made for a cleanser that doesn't instantly foam up. I think this brush is soaking up all the cleanser. Wow, I feel like it's back in the days when I would use my Clarisonic every single day. Ooh, those are the days. I don't know if the cleanser is still on my skin, but I'm kind of like targeting my nose because that's where I get the most like oil, sebum, flaky skin buildup. You know what, screw this thing. Let me try just using the cleanser and see how it is. Wow, okay, I think this cleanser just absorbs really quickly into the skin. I feel like I don't have a lot of time <laughs> to cleanse every part of my face. Oh, okay. It's like basically soaked in now. Let me go rinse again. Ooh, okay, I am rinsed off. Ugh, my skin, not gonna lie, feels like a little bit irritated and I don't necessarily think it's because of the brush. I actually think it's because of the cleanser because even when I was rubbing this on my face afterwards, my skin still felt like that tingling sensation when you're gonna have a reaction to a product. I was feeling it with this one, which kind of surprises me because the ingredients in this are pretty gentle. Maybe combining it with this is not a good idea, but even though this was fun to use, I will say it's not quite as soft as I was hoping for. Granted, I'm not expecting amazing quality because it was only a few dollars. I stand by my opinion that facial tools are not necessary, but they can be, you know, fun to add into a skincare routine. However, I don't know how I feel about this cleanser. I don't think I like it. I guess for me with almost every other cleanser I've ever used. It lasts on your skin for a good amount of time so you can really, you know, make sure it's properly cleansing every area of your face. But I feel like this just instantly absorbed and didn't really give me the chance to get a deep clean. So I'm not super surprised just because I'm not really a cleansing foam girly, but let's go in with the next product. This one I am so excited to try because it definitely is super, super interesting. It is the Stem Cell Skin Lotion and it says it has human stem cell, plant stem cell, stem cell, as well as a vitamin C derivative and retinol, which is a really stacked ingredient list, especially for the price point. And let me tell you guys, if I can ever open this, this bottle is fucking heavy. Like, yeah, it's glass. It honestly reminds me of the SK2 Essence bottle. Like it feels the same quality, but this one was literally like 1% of the price. And I've only recently gotten into the stem cell game when it comes to my skin. And I have to say the product I've used with really good stem cells has been amazing, but it is pretty expensive. But because this is like an active toner as well. I'm okay with it being like a toner essence, even though I don't usually use these, but I'm gonna really pay attention to how my skin feels right after I apply it because with the actives in this, pretty intense. I swear to God, it feels just like the SK2 essence. Kind of even smells like it too. 
I'm just waiting to see if I feel a burn. Ooh, also I did exfoliate my skin last night, so immediately putting retinol on afterwards might be a lot. But I mean, so far my skin feels fine. I don't know, I just find this product super interesting. The utilization of human stem cells and plant stem cells is, I think, really fascinating because products like this mimic the natural enzymes that are found in our body to help support good skin, prevent premature aging, all that good stuff. And I think it's, you know, definitely a science that we're going to see a lot more of in skincare. And it does not surprise me whatsoever that Japan is ahead of the curve. <laughs> I don't know, so far my skin does feel like a tiny bit tingly, but it might still be from that cleanser, to be honest. I kind of am living for this one. This is very interesting. I'm so intrigued by this product. Next. Oh my God, you guys, I forgot I got these. I don't even need to read Japanese to know exactly what this is, thanks to the really entertaining images. If you guys don't wax your noses, I don't know what to tell you because it's literally life-changing and it doesn't hurt. I don't know why I always thought it was gonna hurt, but it really doesn't. Okay, so the next one I am hoping will help to reduce any sensitivity I may have from that damn cleanser. It's the same one as the face mask, the de-soothing series Sika gel cream. Now, gel cream automatically called my name. Y'all know me. I literally have a gel moisturizer in my brand because I love them so much. And looking at this ingredient list, it's great. It's filled with so many powerful soothing ingredients, hydrating ingredients as well. The only thing I don't love about it is that it does have menthol, but it's so low on the ingredient list that I'm hoping it's not super strong. So I opened it up and right at the front, it says made in Korea, but this is definitely Japanese. The packaging is not Korean, but let's try this one. Ooh, it's so pretty. I'm trying to see if it has menthol, like how strong it is. Oh, oh my God. I feel like I'm smelling Vicks, holy shit. Wow, that is so strong. <laughs> Oh my God, you guys, I feel like I just poured Listerine all over my hands. I feel like my eyes are burning. Oh my God. I'm nervous to put it on my face, even though it feels like a beautiful consistency. The smell is not going away. It's really lingering. And I thought because menthol is so low on the ingredient list that it would just be a very light smell, but this is strong as fuck. <laughs> I'm so sad. I really wanted this to be good. And I mean, I'm sure it's fine, but I know in the past my skin has had not the best reactions to menthol and it's just not a great ingredient to have in skincare regardless. This. Bummer, at least. And this is what I'm very happy about. This product was not expensive as like most of the other products that I bought. So it's not a huge loss that this one doesn't work. But anyway, okay, because my skin definitely needs moisture, I'm headed on to a nine hour flight in three hours. I'm gonna go in with the Selfless by Hiram Niacinamide and Marcuja Daily Barrier Support Moisturizer because I don't want that gel cream consistency without it being too heavy on my skin. And the Niacinamide and Marcuja in it will definitely help to make sure my skin barrier is okay. I feel like these two will work really well together overnight, especially on a flight. I'm excited to see if I get good results from this. Okay, next up, let me just mentally prepare you for what's about to happen. This is probably the most psychotic skincare product that I have ever seen. And right when I saw it, I knew I had to buy it. <laughs> this. I know, jump scare. I got freaked out when I saw it in store too. Look at this. What the f is that? I had no idea what this was for, but the second I saw it, I knew I had to buy it because I am insane. <laughs> but before sitting down to film this video, I did use like the Google Translate app to figure out what this does. And apparently it is a sauna face mask that is perfect for on the go. Great travel accessory. So I'm gonna put it on because I want to see if this really will like heat up my skin, add warmth or just like really do anything. Automatically looking at this, this is a very small head size. So I really don't know if my face is gonna fit in this <laughs> with my big old Caucasian nose. Oh my God, this kind of looks scary. Okay. Oh my God, this is not the right size for my head. Ugh, man, this will work out. Okay. Oh my God. <laughs> I look insane. Okay, automatically it's really scrunching my face down, which I don't really know how that's gonna help my skin. Oh God. <laughs> Maybe it's supposed to go up here. I feel like it's just pulling my face down. <laughs> it's giving very hand over the money or I'll shoot. That type of energy, but a little bit more cutty. Yeah, you guys, I feel like this has the opposite effect of what's intended for my face. I feel like this is aging me. It just really pulls the face down and I feel like, ugh. Okay, oh, that's enough of that. 
you know, I don't doubt this product because it did leave my skin like very warm. However, I think my face is just way too big for this. And I wouldn't say that I necessarily have like a huge face, but I do feel like the demographic this is marketed towards probably has, you know, a lot smaller faces than my big old one. You were lovely, but next. And then finally, the cutest product in their entire store. I ran over and immediately had to buy one of these. <laughs> Look at this, it's so cute. And you know what guys, I am just now realizing that this is distributed by a company in Los Angeles, so. <laughs> oh man, this video has just been a failure. So I guess this is technically not Japanese, but I do need some moisture on my lips and it's freaking cute, okay? Stop judging. I mean, just look how adorable it is. Oh my God. Apparently this is peach mousse flavor. Let's see how well it works. Okay, come on. Maybe I need a scooper. Here, I'll use the one from the cleansing balm. I feel like I can't really get a, a good amount for my lips. Oh. Kind of has like a light pink tint to it, I think. Not the most elegant formula, I will tell you that. Hmm, it's okay. I like to consider myself a pretty seasoned lip product user, which if you guys haven't seen my video of ranking every lip product in existence, you should, but I have tested many lip products and I can automatically feel that this one is not gonna last any longer than a good 30 to 45 minutes. But it's so cute, I just cannot. Wow, you guys, this video <laughs> definitely did not go how I expected. I kind of had higher hopes and I'm low key wanting to go back to Don Quixote to find more products, particularly for the moisturizer and the lip balm because they just, you know, did not work for me, unfortunately. Oh, I forgot to say, when I was in store, I originally was looking for a daytime routine, right? I was super excited to find Japanese sunscreens because I've used Japanese sunscreens before. They're very similar to like Korean formulas in the sense that they're a million times better than what we have here in the US. But I felt like I was going insane because I was like, I cannot find a single sunscreen in this store. Like what is going on? That's one of the things Japan is known for. And then I realized that Don Quixote can't legally sell Japanese sunscreens here in the US because they use sunscreen filters that are not approved by the FDA here. So you legally cannot market a product as having sun protective abilities if it isn't approved by the FDA. And it's one thing to buy it online and have it like shipped from Japan, Hong Kong, Korea, but buying it in store is really difficult because it's technically not allowed. So I kind of felt better once I realized that because I was like, I swear to God, I'm going crazy. Like, why can't I find a single one? What I will say for Don Quixote, you can find anything your little heart desires there. They've got it all. And if you ever get the chance to to visit one. I think there's a few in the mainland, but there's, I think, three in Hawaii. It's amazing. But my thoughts overall was, this routine was okay. I think the product I'm definitely the most interested in is the stem cell lotion, just because this is unique to Japan and there's just not a lot of products with stem cells. And as for the rest, cleansing balm, cleanser, cleansing brush, moisturizer, lip balm, they're all disappointments. So I'd say this isn't one of the best skincare routine videos I've ever done. But do you guys have Japanese brands that you recommend that I try? Because I would love to listen to your guys' recommendations, find new products. I feel like I just didn't pick very well for this shopping trip and could have found a lot more. So I'd love to hear your guys' recommendations. All these products will be linked down below if you do wanna check them out and make sure you subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And I'm gonna start rushing because I am flying out in a few hours for a red eye one. So I gotta go. Love you guys.